my father. He was the youngest of 11 kids, came from a small village in Samoa. My dad was a salesman, and I remember they would do league tables for the insurance company that he was working for. And there was Yole Fala from Masterton, who was in the top 10. Um, so that was really the stuff which got me initially interested in business. My name is Alex Fala. Um, I'm a proud Kiwi and Samoan. Um, my dad was born in Sasae in Savai, and my mum is uh, Swiss and Polish. And I'm also now the, the proud husband of Claire and father of three beautiful children. I spent my childhood years, my primary school years, in Masterton in the Wairarapa. Growing up, it was really interesting having different sides to my family. Um, you know, my dad was, was a very proud Samoan. We loved going to see our family in Wellington. We had a big family in Wellington and we'd sort of go there to, to uh, call ngai and, and do all of those kind of things, um, which gave us kind of a real appreciation and love for our Samoan side. Um, but then on the other hand, we also had my mother's side, um, which was Swiss and Polish, continental European, so not even really, um, you know, Pākehā in the, in, the, in the typical New Zealand sense. Um, so yeah, we had a really diverse um, upbringing, which, which was interesting, but I think later on, it also, you know, there were some identity things that I had to work through. For some people, you're not brown enough, and for some people, you're not white enough. But even internally, constantly sort of thinking through, first of all, wanting to show pride in who you are, but also not wanting to feel like you're faking it. So I guess at the end, I just realized that ah, I'm just going to be me and proud of all of the pieces. I got interested in business when I was young um, because I watched a movie called Wall Street. Wall Street. Uh, told the story of business during the 80s and it, it told a lot of the bad things but it also showed some of the amazing things about business and what the opportunities were like if you worked hard. That story of this working class kid going and taking on the world, it reminded me of the story of my father. You know, he was the youngest of 11 kids, came from a small village in Samoa and then he came to New Zealand. My dad was a salesman and I remember they would do league tables for the insurance company that he was working for. And you know, everyone in the top 10 was sort of rich and European from one of the big cities. And then there was Yole Fala from Masterton who was in the top 10. Um, so that was really the stuff which got me initially interested in business. So a Rhodes Scholarship gives you uh, a scholarship to go and study at Oxford University in the United Kingdom. And, and it also makes you part of the Rhodes community, which is amazing too, because you get people from all over the world come together with this common ethos of, um, of wanting to serve and do the right thing by the, by, um, you know, by the world. Yeah, I never imagined I could be a Rhodes Scholar, but when I started my first job, um, one of the senior people I worked with said to me that I should apply and I looked into it and discovered that it was this prestigious scholarship that gave the opportunity to study at Oxford University. Generally, the people who get it are the most smart people you know, as well as being super well-rounded. Um, so they play sports and they show leadership and, and serve. Um, and so I thought, hey, I'll give it a try and threw my hat in the ring um, when, I was, uh, when I was a couple of years into my working life um, and was really privileged to get it. And, it's quite intimidating when you get over there as a Kiwi. You know, certainly for me, I went over there as, as a Kiwi who had never been to the States, I'd never been to Europe, um, I'd barely been out of New Zealand. Yeah, I had two years amongst the dreaming spires of Oxford. Um, I was learning the things that I was really passionate about learning in terms of society. And at the same time, I met amazing people who, who, who have become lifelong friends. I think there's a myth in, in Māori and Pacific communities that business is this boring thing and everyone wears grey suits and sits in cubicles. But the reality is that business is this massive creative endeavour and it's a human endeavour of both bringing people together and then working out how you can serve customers. So for me, the, the thing which keeps me in business it's not one big thing, it's just these everyday moments. Um, I love the feeling of being part of a team, working with people who are good people for a common goal. For me, business is a creative outlet. You get to be creative around the products that you build and the way that you serve customers. And then it's also a competitive outlet, right? It's, it's tough that world out there, and particularly if you want to take on um, you know, big players um, from the States and, and, um, and other big countries. 
Uh, but that energizes me. I love, I love that feeling of doing something competitive and, and doing it with a great group of people. And for me, that's the exciting thing about business. So if you're entering the, the, your working life now, I think the most important thing is to always be learning and realize that, that that's the opportunity. Your career is only just starting and you're only going to get better. Um, when I think about people who are great successes, they didn't take the biggest dollar amount necessarily when they first got out of university. They looked for the opportunities where they could grow and over time growth is what wins. Um, I think learning is also an imperative. You know, we live in a time now where all of the world's knowledge is essentially sitting in our pockets um, on our phones um, in whatever format works for us. And that's a massive opportunity, but it's also an imperative because someone out there is going to be taking advantage of that. My message to, to, to young brown kids is, you know, make sure you get the academics right because you've got a whole lot of natural talent and you just need the opportunity to let it shine.